Oh, be careful, Zamasu, because it looks like your future is about to change drastically. Hey guys, DB right here, and continuing right where we left off with What If Vegeta Was Female, we had just left off with Future Trunks' arrival after he has been through quite an ordeal with Vegeta Black. Vegeta Black, who had killed his surrogate mother, Bulma, and quite possibly have killed Mai, Future Trunks wakes up to um, a vision of his mother, Vegeta, standing over him, and he basically immediately attacks her mistaking her momentarily for Vegeta Black. And well, this of course catches the eyes of Beerus and Whis, who are not happy to find out that these mortals have the audacity to be meddling with time. Hmm. Tell me, boy, your name is Trunks as well, isn't it? Trunks, of course, being the son of Vegeta and Yamcha in this timeline, and of course the pocket future universe of Future Trunks' timeline in this story. And, well, once um, Trunks comes down and realizing that this is his past lover he's fighting with and that the trip to the past has indeed worked once again, and well, basically him filling him everything about this new threat and that it looks just like his mother that has um, basically laid waste to his planet and he's come back to um, basically ask for help. Beerus and Whis are not liking this one bit. They can't just go up there and help. They can't meddle with time. It's a serious crime. One of which that if um, Grand Zeno were to find out about this, he'd have the worlds destroyed. And, um, well, basically, basically with that, all filled up with um, all that basically being told, they're suddenly interrupted again when um, Vegeta Black comes through the time rift, much like in the original. His time ring able to get a fix on where future trucks had landed and well just like in the original however Goku did have he did manage to have his sparring session with trunks in the meantime to gauge roughly where um Goku's black power was however with uh, I'm sorry I meant Vegeta Black Vegeta Black showing up however it is Vegeta Black who insists on bat it is, uh, so the, it is Vegeta who is insisting on paddling with Vegeta Black instead of Goku. Because Vegeta knows if Goku does it, Goku's just going to play around. He's just, he's just going to play around and there's a chance he might get away or get the upper hand. As Whis has mentioned many times, that is Goku's big fatal flaw. Vegeta, on the other hand, is not going to hold back and pull her punches. So she's powered up right to blue right right then and there and has charged Vegeta Black hitting her or him I'm confused with everything she's got and it is too much for Vegeta Black Vegeta Black is essentially taken out right then and there you won't be threatening my son's future anymore final flash and yes the power is just too much for um, Vegeta Black to really handle at this point. He is taken out right then and there on the spot. He can't, she can't do anything. I suppose that Zamasu in her body, so really I guess you'd call her a he. Who, anyway, bottom line is Vegeta Black's not going to be causing them any more trouble. And well, this does disturb the um, 
immortal Zamasu from the Future Trunks timeline, who realizes he can't sense Vegeta Black's energy anymore. Nor can he really do much, anything much about it at this point. It's, um... Yeah, the only thing Zamasu can really think to do is just continue the mission, destroy mortals. So this is where he rears his ugly head for the first time, and the mortals become aware of immortal Zamasu. And well, after witnessing the battle between Vegeta and Vegeta Black, they realize that his energy reminds them of someone. And well... This is where Whis, Zamasu, and in this case Vegeta, go off and investigate, having an idea that of um, Vegeta Black's true identity. Now, meanwhile, with um, Former able to refuel the time machine, no problem, because you know, past Former has her laboratory intact. Trunks is able to go back and see if anything's at least changed, at least to make sure that Vegeta Black is some is not is indeed gone in this timeline. That there's somehow not two of them. However, this is where they realize um, Goku basically tagged along for the trip, and basically this is where they have their encounter with Zamasu. Even though Zamasu is significantly weaker than than they are, his immortal body just keeps restoring him. So it's pretty much a null and vo void fight with this guy, and that, yeah, this pretty much leads with, th with them, along with Mai, returning back to the past. Once again, even though Zamasu was too weak to really do anything about Saiyans, not having a Saiyan body, he was still immortal and able to um, get the better of them eventually. So, ultimately with that, this is where Beerus and Zamasu, uh, uh, Beerus, Whis and Vegeta return. Vegeta, um, having their little, little spar se sparring session with Zamasu, which ultimately, of course, would give Zamasu the idea of um, taking Vegeta's body. However, with Goku having an encounter with Zam with um future Zamasu from the future timeline, he's able to um, fill in what, what, how Goku Black got that body and as well as um, Zamasu's connection to um, Goku Black, confirming Beerus and Whis's suspicions and Vegeta wasn't buying that he was innocent either. So with that, they are racing back to the um, timeline and do see that um, Zamasu's aura has changed to someone who's definitely about to commit murder commit murder on the Supreme Kai of his universe. And so essentially, with um, Vegeta tagging along for the trip once again, they have to go back and actually wait until he actually commits the crime. And they only travel far enough away that the deities can't sense them. So... With that, and Zamasu thinks he's actually going to get away with it, and actually witnesses the crime for, for, for themselves, they do the whole temporal time do-over, and of course, you got Supreme Kai with them as well, they actually do manage to get there really quick, and replace um, Zamasu's killing strike with a oven mitt, and that, with that being revealed that he was going to kill them, this basically is where Beerus just um, immediately blasts him away with um, an Hakai. And this actually does erase the immortal Zamasu as well. <gasps> but DB Rai, that shouldn't happen. They're, he was protected with a time ring. Any changes to history would keep him alive. Um, no, not with um, Goku Black, uh, sorry, Vegeta Black Ted. Because remember, only Vegeta Black had the time ring. Vegeta Black was the one who kept metal in the time. There was no need for this Zamasu to do that. He did promote him to Supreme Kai, but to my knowledge, future Zamasu never had a time ring. 
If I am wrong about that, I do apologise, but to my knowledge and watching the series recently, Future Zamasu did not wield a time ring. There was no need to, because the Goku Black, or in this case, Vegeta Black had it, and Vegeta Black no longer has a time ring because he's now dead, destroyed. Therefore, Zamasu is no longer protected by any changes in history. So Immortal Zamasu does indeed disappear. So when they go back to the future time this time, he has been erased from history. And well, things in that timeline have been restored from since Vegeta Black's appearance, including the death of Bulma. That has been undone. As we know, when the Hakai is used on someone, it's like they never existed. And so, with that, basically all the buildings are restored. Everyone who was um, killed during that has been brought back to life. And well, once again, again things with um, Future Trunks' timeline has been restored. Even though, yes, and much like the relationship with um, the original Future Trunks in Mai, that does hit off like it did in the original. Even though our version of Future Trunks looks a little bit different, having, um, you know, Vegeta's hairstyle. And well, with that, the whole mess of, of um, Vegeta Black and everything Zamasu was planning to do, and not to mention the fact that he was going to pull this same farce in his timeline, it was for the best that Beerus did get involved and get rid of him. So with that, the whole mess is wrapped up, everyone is all happy, there's a big victory meal, as they always have, they always have their victory feast, and for Beerus and Whis's help, especially stopping another Vegeta Black appearing in this time zone, let's just say they are fed with some, they are really, really rewarded for their help, and uh, fed something of a little extra, some extra helpings for Beerus and Whis today. And boy, did they eat their fill. And well, I think, at least for now, this is where we will end things for this part. And don't worry, we are going to be going into the next part, heading into the events of the um, Tournament of Power, which will serve as the finale to this What If. So, as always... Let me know what you think of this story, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time. Catch you later!